Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and we have some nuttiness here between the Kings of New Orleans and the Las Vegas show. The Kings going to be without their top two tackles, 98 overall and 97 overall, Thomas and Jones. Their offense struggling to say the least, seven and a half points per game. Mike Martz, their head coach, him and Dick Vermeil looking like siblings there. Having a tough go at it? Not us. We're scoring like 40-something points a game. Should be a total mismatch. Third and 10 for Jake Plummer. Over the middle to Terry Glenn. First down, Kings. Third down and 10 again. And this time, Plummer goes down to Dan Cody, the fourth-year defensive end out of Oklahoma. Vic on play action is sacked by Donnie Edwards, the 13-year veteran linebacker. It's third and 17. Rolling out, stop and find wide open Anquan Bolden. Vegas across midfield, it's third down and 10. Scrambling and goes out of bounds, inches short of the line to gain and we're going for it. And they call the perfect defense. And I'm totally screwed. Turnover on downs on a fourth and inches as I'm completely rattled. On second and nine, Plummer finding Eric Moulds. This play, third down and eight. Plummer, first year with the Kings after being with the Nashville Swine. And they're going to be well short of the line to gain of the 33-year-old Plummer. Third and ten. Vic finds Jeremy Shockey. Fumbles the ball. But it goes out of bounds. We keep it. First down show. Third and four on this play. Scrambling. And outside of Rashawn Woods takes a big hit inside the New Orleans 40-yard line. Vic. Outside to the rookie fullback, Jonathan Stupar, and that's going to be a loss of four. Third down and 14. Outside to Rashawn Woods once again. Caught at about the 26-yard line. His first and 10 show. Vic scrambling to the left. Stop and finds Jeremy Shockey. Touchdown show. 26-yard touchdown reception. Vegas got it going here now, boys. It's 7 nothing. Third down and 10 for the Kings, and Javon Walker makes the catch, the former Florida State Seminole, and the first quarter, 7-0 show. Third down and 11, first play of the second quarter, just gets it off, and it's caught. Javon Walker somehow comes up with it, and the Kings drive continues. First and 10 over the middle of Walker again. And he's getting hot here in the early goings of the second quarter. Play action. Turn around and sling it. Plummer does not even have to look downfield. Randy McMichael, the tight end with the catch. And on third and seven, Plummer goes down. Pass incomplete. Trot out Alindo, Alinde Mare, if I'm saying that correctly. 42-yard field goal is good. New Orleans on the board. Vic scrambling, finding Jeremy Shockey. Up near the 40. This play third down and four. And Lance Moore can't make the catch. Vegas will punt the ball. Third down and two for the Kings. And that's a three and out for the Kings. Punt the ball back to the show with three and a half to go in the second quarter. Curl route to Anquan Bolden. Right up near the 30-yard line. Throwing on first and 10. Caught by Jeremy Shockey right at midfield. First and 10 again. And clear out that side of the field. Vic running it, taking it to the New Orleans 31-yard line. Two and a half to play in the quarter. And it's Lance Moore at about the 21-yard line. First play out of the two-minute warning. Vic finds Jeremy Shockey at about the six. This play second and goal. And Lance Moore touchdown show. Crank up the Hooba Stank. Vegas going up 14 to three with a buck 30 on the clock. Can Jake Plummer do something with the New Orleans offense? Looking good in the Saints alternate white uniform inspired jerseys. 108 on the clock. Over the middle to Eric Moulds and the Kings into Vegas territory. This play third down and 10. Flicks this one out and it's caught by Eric Moulds inside the 35. 40 seconds. Second and 10. Sidearms it to Travis Miner, the former Florida State running back. Look at this play. Slick. Is that something that Plummer would do? Because he would do it quite often in this one. 
I gotta go no huddle, less than 30 seconds on the clock, and look at that side armor, Terry Glenn, touchdown Kings. Look at this throw, slick, Jake the Snake Plumber, and takes a hit. And we got a ball game, but 22 seconds, is that enough time for the show? Timeout number one there with 18 seconds on the clock. It's first and 10. Rolling out to the right, and that one batted away, intended for Jeremy Shockey. Second and 10, 13 seconds on the clock. Scrambling left, and finds Rudy Johnson as he let the defender come towards him. Got to respect Vic's ability to run. Eight seconds. Then Quan Bolden breaks through the middle. Touchdown show. The Vegas offense goes 80 yards in like 18 seconds. Break out the black face. We're up 21 to 10 at the half. Third and 10. Starting off with the ball in the third quarter. And three straight incomplete passes. It's a three and out. Third and inches for the Kings. Caught! Javon Walker. And they're at the Vegas 35. Now it's third down and six. Plummer over the middle to wide open Eric Moles. And they're down to the one. First and goal throwing. And it's caught by Ryan Hamby. The third year tight end out of Ohio State can catch that one. And look out. It's 21 to 17. Vic runs into Charles Woodson. That's going to bring up second down and 17. Gets those yards back and then some with Rashawn Woods. Third down and three for the Vegas offense. And whoop, look at the moves. Able to elude the rush. And honestly, we're trying to throw to L1. And we didn't push L2 in time. But you know what? I should be doing that move a lot more often. First and 10 finds Anquan Bolden having a huge day. I believe that puts him over 100 yards receiving on the afternoon. Play action on first and 10. Josh gets it all, but it's picked off. Daryl Blackstock, a fourth year linebacker out of Virginia. And the rookie Stupar is lecturing the veteran quarterback, Vic. I would love to be in the EA Sports meeting when they came up with that idea. Caught out of bounds. The meter man goes down. Third and inches. And it's Javon Walker with the catch. New Orleans with two and a half to go in the third quarter. Moving downfield. Terry Glenn, the veteran receiver. This play, third and ten. Plummer. And it goes right into the ground. We force the 44-yard field goal attack from Mare. Kicking into the beautiful sunset. 21-20. The Kings came in here averaging seven points per game. Lance Moore on the curl route. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Vic, another curl to Moore. They call it out of bounds. I immediately challenge it because I got a good eye for this stuff. And one foot down gets the toe down on the second. And we should be good to go. But... All right, so they reverse the play, but look, it's still third and 10 at the 39. The game broke. They didn't give me the reversal. I didn't lose a timeout, but it's third and 10. I'm completely rattled. It should be first down and I go out of bounds. So a huge break for the New Orleans Kings as Jake Plummer not even looking downfield. Just what? He's looking the complete other way and just slings it. The animations sometimes are nutty. And we lost a challenge that we won. So, goodness gracious, if we go down because of that. Travis Miner on third and inches easily gets the first down. Now, Javon Walker, the Kings into Vegas territory, early stages of the fourth quarter. Plummer, picked off by Sammy Davis. Okay. Vegas taking over at midfield after the nuttiness. It's third down and 10, though, and it's another three straight incomplete passes. I don't like to show those because there are so many of them. Brian Mormon, like the 98 overall punter, and I have got this under control out of bounds at the six-yard line. Third down and eight for the Kings deep in their own territory, and it's batted away. 
Got a punt from within their own end zone. And Vegas has great field positioning. Enough with the bull crap. Just clear out that side of the field. Vic's going to take it all the way down to the one. First and goal. Play action. You know what we're looking for? It's not there. So just take it into the end zone. No film study of us in this league. Lay up over the field goal. And it's 28 to 20. Joe. Third down and eight for the New Orleans Kings. Plummer. All day to throw and is batted away. Three and out. We start with the ball in their territory. Stop and pop. Rudy. Rudy. Down to the 32 yard line. Third down and four with less than three minutes to go. Vic rolling out to the right and it's not there this time. Trot out Sebastian Janikowski from 43 yards out. Kick is up. And the kick is good right in front of the sun-soaked sunset sky. Looking good. Third down and 10 for Plummer. Flicks this one out. And Randy McMichael, the veteran tight end, able to corral it. 2.20 on the clock. And this time it's Hamby up near midfield. Third down and six. Minute 38 to go. Falls incomplete. And New Orleans has no choice but to go for it. On fourth down, Plummer's just going to try to run it. What was that? And we get the ball back. Third down and 12. 90 seconds to go. We're going over the middle to Anquan Bolden. Brings up fourth down and five. They let us run the clock all the way down to 48 seconds. Crowd booing us going for it on fourth and five. And you know what? Maybe I deserve it. They're all devastated. We're up 31 to 20. 45 seconds Okay, second down and 10. Maybe it's not the best decision. Finds Terry Glenn and the Kings down to the Vegas 37-yard line. 28 seconds on the clock. Over the middle to Javon Walker having a huge game down to the 25. They call their final timeout with 19 seconds on the clock. As Javon Walker down inside the five. Clock stops as Jake Plummer injures his head on the play. He'll be good to go next week. It's a pinched nerve. So it's Josh Fields, the third-year quarterback out of Oklahoma State who played Major League Baseball, finding Randy McMichael, and it's 31-26. They're going for two, and it falls incomplete. So 14 seconds, but they're not set up for the onside kick. We are, and they just kick it off. And Reggie Lewis is going to catch it at the 10. White flag. We saw this in the second Super Bowl. Dallas was coming back against San Diego and they had what multiple onside re kick recoveries and they didn't think they could get a third of plus the length of that up in the top here so yeah glitchy getting glitchy with it Vic under 50% completion percentage a lot of incomplete passes huge day for Jake Plummer again should be good to go for them at next week Vic only 67 yards are rushing and Quan Bolden and Jeremy Shockey both go over 100 yards, as well as Javon Walker, the former Seminole. Battle of Dave Show quarterbacks. Chicago gets the best of Carolina. Oakland, another overtime loss. Of course, we had their first one. San Diego goes down in Atlanta, and Denver goes down in Brooklyn. Everyone in the AFC West is 1-2, and two, except for 3-0 and oh, us. Heading out to Boston to take on the Navigators. Coming off of their bye week. Alright guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next show.